just want to talk a little bit about our brand new line of cinch buckles. These are designed by Patrice Larive, a fellow cinch maker. He's a rider. He's involved with performance horses at one time. Patrice has pretty much made it his mission to um, educate people about the importance of comfortable cinches for horses. And these buckles are really ergonomic in design. You know, there's a reason why they're larger. There's a reason why the little ball bearing where the tongue comes out, if you want to call it that, is the way it is. Um, he just really put his heart and his soul into designing this because the comfort of the horse is what is most important for him. And uh, it's really wonderful that he has done this, made them available to other cinch makers because he'd like to see um, more cinches out there on the market that are truly comfortable for the horse. Um, so let me just show you some of the key features of these beautiful cinch buckles. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the very popular Big D style buckle with Patrice's Valcaro buckle. If you notice on the Big D style, I like to see just how flat it is on the table. And you can see it's got a bit of a rise there to it. Now, if we take a look at Patrice's buckle, you can see that that baby lays very flat. Of course, it's not totally flat because it wouldn't be able to do that um, with the tongue. But by comparison, it is much flatter. And this all does transfer over to the cinch when the cinch is tied up and how it fits your horse, how it lays while it's on the horse too. So let's look at the back of these two buckles. Here we have the big D. And if you look at how that tongue is attached, it's just this big hump here it slides about. Patrice's has a nice beautiful taper to it. And so you're, you may ask, well, you know, what does it matter? It's just going to be strong with yarn. Um, once it's on the horse, he's not going to feel that. But I was quite alarmed when we did these two cinches here. Okay, if you look at this big D style, this has a pressure point here. It's significantly higher than the bar. There's no taper. And so you still have this protruding. And when I go and lay my hand on it, I can feel that. I can feel the back of that tongue hitting my hand. Not a good thing. So when you look at Patrice's, what have you got? You've got such a nice, smooth transition into that tongue that this mohair or this alpaca whatever yarn you use it wants to kind of cover that and that's okay now so when i go and put my hand on that buckle i'm not feeling that i just don't feel that back of that trunk tongue protruding so imagine that on your horse and feeling that in comparison to this just no comparison. So one thing you'll notice about Patrice's buckles too is that um, they are larger. They're four inches in length in comparison to this one, which is a little over three inches in length. And the reason why he did that is so that there would be more surface area, more buckle that would be in contact with the horse so that it could all be distributed evenly, have a greater surface area there to distribute any kind of pressure. So when you go to make your cinch, you're going to end up making it, you're using less yarn. Okay, there's about an inch and a half difference between these two. And that's something that you will have to take into consideration. That's always a good thing, you don't have to use as much yarn, but um, you'll have to do some calculating on that. So in conclusion, I'd just like to say how happy we are to be able to offer these buckles to our cinch makers out there. 
We feel that this buckle will really improve the um, performance of the horse by giving him the comfort that he needs and also um, benefit the rider because if you don't have a happy horse, you're not going to have a happy rider. And so um, we look forward to uh, seeing some of these cinches out on your custom gear out there. And I uh, truly do want to applaud Patrice for making such a beautiful buckle that really does take the horse into consideration.